Turn your back on the world. Greetings and trust you are well. I hope you are well and had a good Christmas and New Year. I had a series of dream visions just prior to Christmas which were intense and also pretty scary. I did not put them up as I did not want to ruin your Christmas or New Year's. There is a lot I wish to cover in this video or however many videos it requires me to cover the dreams, insights and visions which I have had since December 24th up until the a few days back. First I wish to discuss an important topic. I have noticed the last few videos that many different agents, or whatever you wish to call them all of a sudden have come to my channel to leave comments. Then I noticed someone else on their channel had a lot of comments all coming to their channel, leaving comments from individuals which are not in South Africa. The video about the ducks flying out seems to have scared a lot of sellouts, a lot of agents. A lot of the New World Order crowd which think it is their right to push our nation's face into the ground. Who wish to see us vanish from this earth who despite the atrocities committed against the whites for 28 years have been dead silent. So it seems the video has spooked these agents because the signs are telling and they do not wish to see a free nation here on the southern tip of Africa and I am here to tell them. Their handlers and those agents from around the world, there is nothing you nor your agencies, nor your governments can nor will do or can do to stop events unfolding. I hope that is clear, what is going to unfold in South Africa is part of God's plans, the Almighty will have the final say, your money, your power, your influence will be of no match. Nothing you do will succeed, it is foretold, the chains will come undone leaving comments on my channel, spying on me, hacking my computers is not going to stop the chains coming undone. You will see more and more of this as the weeks roll in. Honesty is the key, as a nation, we have to turn our backs on the world. We have to look within to see where we have gone wrong, we have to go back to our roots, we have to bend our knee. Then and only then will things begin to change. The church has never been our friend, this can be verified in our old historical records from the Great Trek days. We the people make our churches and the problem lies with us, we have to take responsibility of what goes into our mouths, what we give attention to and take practical measures to save ourselves. No one is going to do it. Not the church, not some foreign nation. We have to go back to our old roots. I notice many of our people now are adopting pagan ways to spite the church. If you need the church to do the right thing in order to be a Christian, then you were never a true Christian to begin with. Our Huguenot ancestor arrived here not thanks to the church but because of the church. The churches have never ever been for our people, Dingan murdered Pete Retief while a pastor was in his camp, knowing full well what was about to take place. He never stopped it because the church is more interested in converting noble savages than worrying about their own flock. This is how it has always been, this is how it is always going to be. If you need the church to do something in order for you to be a Christian, then you were never a true Christian in the sense that what the church does should have no bearing on your faith. I am not here to preach to you, I just want to get the message out. If you are an atheist, I do not care, if you do not believe, I do not care, in the end we are all given free will to choose. Choose life or death, it's your choice. About a week back after praying, I began to meditate, the following vision came to me. I am looking at South Africa from the air, below me I see the country. I look down, I can see our nation, our people, they have beards, they look like old boars from the past. I see they look confused, I see them look up, they are looking up to what is happening in the world. I see them look west, then north, then I see them turn their backs on the world and they look east in the country. The time will come when the nation turns back on the world and looks at issues right in front of their eyes, right here in their backyard and then I see things taking a turn. Now in December around the 24th of December, I had three dream visions in one night.
They scared me, they woke me up early. No dream vision put on the channel instilled that much fear in me to date, even as I type this, I feel that anxiousness come over me to discuss them. For one they are not good, second I do not and have never intended to scare anyone. I could not intend to scare people unless I had a crystal ball knowing what dream vision I would have. I do not and have not chosen what I will see. To make sure that the dream was correct, I prayed for a dream vision to confirm the dream. I prayed asking for another dream vision to make sure it was for real. I mentioned in the past that unless I wrote the dream vision, I never saw or had another dream vision until it was online. I did not want to do that due to the nature and contents of the dream vision. So this is the dream vision confirmation from the 7th of January 2022. I am in an Islamic country. It is Turkey, I believe it is Turkey. This is hard to believe but so was the apartheid coming to Europe dream. So all I will say, it is an Islamic country, the dream said Turkey but I cannot believe it is Turkey. I am in Turkey, I am with a Turk or some Islamic person. We are driving on a road, a very busy highway section. All of a sudden a siren went off. A siren to warn of war. I hear sirens, very loud and before I know it before my eyes I see the first jets fly in. They are American jets, I see it is a serious fight in the air. The jets are met with a counter force which is equal to the Americans force, in fact not only is it equal but it is stopping their advance. I then see out of the left hand side of the dream, jets flying super fast and with more power. I see Israel steps in, I see Israel intervenes and literally saves America from humiliation. The battle seemed like a stalemate. I am then shown a scene in America. I see a politician, I do not know who he is, he is about as old as Biden, perhaps 10 years younger. I do not see his face clearly. He is sitting in an old style politician's office, sitting in a leather chair. He is being interviewed about this incident. I see him talk and he basically saw it as a success. While he is saying this, I see the Islamic leader of the country this took place in. The Americans said that they had won the battle and had done a good job but at the same time on the airwaves, the Islamic leader says something to the tune of. Why do the Americans not talk about the amount of their jets which were downed? I see these words are echoed, they go from the Middle East and go towards Asia. These words, what this leader of this country will say will echo around the world and will go in the history books, it will signal the decline of the West. It will be a humiliation on the world stage. The Islamic leader's words will be more of a defeat than the actual battle. It will signal a huge change around the world and signal a declining power in the West. Now the dream showed me Turkey but I cannot see it happen since Turkey is a partner but who knows, I could never have seen how apartheid would have come to Europe and here it is. This is the dream confirmation, I prayed for a message dream to confirm he 24th of December's dream. Dream vision from the 24th of December 2021. I am looking at Europe, Europe lies before me. I see a European city before me. It is a representation of Europe. I see many people, then I see the wind blow. I see all the people who did not take the vax, I see they are pushed right out of the cities, they are pushed to the fringes of society. They are pushed out of society like lepers. It was the way they were pushed out, I saw how they lost everything but everything. It was like a thick black fog around the outskirts of these European cities, where all these people were pushed. Then I saw the dream vision of apartheid coming to Europe and the words, this time it will be worse than Europe come to me. When I saw this, it was the worst feeling I have had in a dream. It was the way these people were literally looked upon, frowned upon as if they had something wrong with them. 
they were looked at as if they were not even human, that their lives meant nothing. As if they were nothing, nothing they could do could get them in the system. I saw it as if the portion of society these people were living in now resembled the dark ages, the ghettos I saw them live in and where they were pushed in. Looked like the old European films where you see dirty streets, muddy streets. They were pushed out like they were nothing. As if they did not even exist. I saw how they became beggars or like homeless people. Those who will not go with the system, will experience the dream vision of, apartheid comes to Europe, but this time it will be worse. The fulfillment of this dream vision will be the complete fulfillment of apartheid coming to Europe. The worst is still not in sight, it will get worse for those who refuse to go along, much worse. I saw that portion of Europe like it was from another era, with all the tolerance preached for the past 50 years, it was as if that went out the window. Right after this dream, I found myself in America, still part of the same dream vision. I am now in America, I am in Washington DC, I am walking on the streets of America. Here again, I am shocked. I see America has gone along with the program. I see people, Americans walking with their phones, all having this new passport system but it does not annoy or bug the American people, in fact, I see Americans have no problem adapting and adopting the system. Seeing it as just another application on their phones. I saw one particular woman walk in the dream vision. I see it was cold in Washington, I saw her walking with her phone, with her pass and so did all the people around her. The Americans will adopt this system as some additional technical application or app on their phones. I saw their hearts. In both America and Europe, I see the hearts of the people. In Europe, they went along but not willingly but they still went along. In America, I see they simply go along with it. They not only go